read and achieve. This is Dr. McIntosh, Read 101, wanting to give you some best practices as you are. Perhaps you just purchased a new novel and you're going to take a dive head forward and just read all the way through from cover to cover. Maybe you're in a college class and you've gotten a syllabi and now you're looking at it and thinking, okay, let me pull open these textbooks and get started. Nevertheless, wherever you may be in your journey, I want you to know that there are strategies that you can employ to help build and strengthen your comprehension so that you're walking away with solid knowledge about what you just read. And so what I'm talking about is an immediate recall. You may be thinking, what does that mean, immediate recall? Well, if we take it verbatim for what it is, we are immediately recalling what we just read. So as you are engaging in your reading, of course, you perhaps turn to chapter one or the introduction or foreword. After every few sentences, just take a moment as you're thinking, as you are even glancing through the text, think about the words that you're reading. If, for, for example, you are unaware of a lot of the terms, or as if you're in a college course and perhaps it's a science course and you don't know the words, you may want to stop and look up some of those bolded words so you get a general idea ahead before you begin actually reading. But in an immediate recall, you stop periodically, frequently, I would say every two to three sentences, and in your mind, just take a real quick review of what it is that you're reading. That way, when you get to the end of the page, your mind is not wondering, but I would say start small. You may even take a familiar read, such as you can take it all the way down to elementary if you want to, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Find that book and go ahead and take a, take a dive deep and look, read a page or two, then stop. Immediately recall what you just read. You can sequence those events, just like we know about Goldilocks and the Three Bears and the story that is always told again and again. It may have t different twists and turns, but nevertheless, you stop periodically throughout the text and then you recall what it is that you just read. That way, once you get through the chapter or the assigned reading, maybe a journal article or whatever it is, you have also stopped periodically and you've thought about what you have been reading and that's going to help shape your overall comprehension of that specific subset or if it was a chapter or like I said, a journal article. It doesn't matter. This could be applied to business. It could be applied if you're an educator and you're doing some professional reading for perhaps a PLC. It doesn't matter. An immediate recall. You're stopping very frequently throughout a text and immediately recalling what you just read. I hope that you have a great week. Employ that strategy. Look forward to seeing you soon. And remember, your best, it is still yet to come. Take care.